Hi, I'm Peter Sidwell. I am in the kitchen. It is locked down here and it is time to cook something absolutely delicious from the store cupboard and the freezer. Now, we're all in the same boat. We're all in our homes, staying safe, making sure we get rid of this coronavirus as quickly as possible. But let's have something delicious to eat. Now, I know it's kind of tricky at the moment to get uh, ingredients and things like that, but that doesn't mean you can't cook something amazing. I am gonna cook a beautiful Milanese pasta dish that I had last year in Milan when I was there working in a beautiful restaurant. And there is no reason why you can't create this dish at home yourself with just using a few simple ingredients. So, we've got dried pasta. I'm on fusilli, which is the spirals. So they're just gonna go straight into the pan. Salted boiling water and then I'm just going to add some salt into there. Now this pasta will take about nine minutes to cook, okay? So just enough time to make a delicious sauce. So I'm going to get the heat on full here. I'll just talk to you about the other ingredients. Now I've just got four sausages, okay? Four people, four sausages. That's all you need for this dish. It doesn't need to be loads and loads of meat. What it just a little bit goes a long way with this dish and the Italians are very good at that and that's where this dish comes from. I've got some garlic, some chilli, just chilli flakes from the store cupboard. If you've got fresh use it. I've only got dried at the moment. Some olive oil, tin of chopped tomatoes and then I have got some evaporated milk. Now I don't know about you but I've had this in the back of the store cupboard for some time. There is no cream in the supermarket shelves. Um, and I just thought, how could I, usually we just add a touch of cream to this right at the end and it just kind of brings it all together. But today, got no cream, so what could I use? So I had a good old rummage around and I bet some of you have got a tin of this in the back of the cupboard as well. Use evaporated milk, it's not sweetened. Condensed milk is sweetened, okay? So get the evaporated. You can get these tiny little tins, they're great. So first things first, let's get our garlic going. So back of the knife, just give it a crack and then just unwrap the garlic nice and easy. Same with the second one, just give it a crack, there we go. And then just run your knife through the garlic really easily. Just roll your knife, okay? So two cloves of garlic just chopped up nicely. Super simple this. Not only is this absolutely delicious, this recipe, it's like less than a fiver, okay, for a family of four. So in with some olive oil, pop that down, garlic straight in, chilli flakes straight in, as much or as little as you like, it doesn't matter. If you don't like the chilli, don't put it in, that's okay. Right, now our sausages, okay, four Cumberland sausages here I bought from the supermarket. Cut down, open it out of the skin, get rid of the skin, we don't want that, okay, and just unravel and pop the sausage meat straight in. Right, so using the back of your spoon, just press the sausage meat down against the pan and just break it up into little pieces. That's what we want. Right, I'm going to turn the heat back up. Just tap your spoon off there. Now, let me turn your attention to this pasta here. Do you see this sort of white foamy water that's coming off the top of the pasta? Just pop that in. Scoop it out with your spoon. Just lift it off. Just lift it out and then into the pan and let it boil down and reduce. And that's just going to bring the flavours of the sausage meat, the chilli and the garlic and the olive oil together. So that starch water from the pasta is just, it's kind of made it creamy already, okay? So what we're going to do is we're going to take our tin of chopped tomatoes. Now, a little tip for you. If you buy good quality or you have good quality tin tomatoes, great. If you've had to buy the sort of the lower end, lower quality ones from the supermarket, don't worry about that, that's fine. Just pour them into a sieve and get rid of the water. Let it drain out. In with our tin of chopped tomatoes. That's it. And then a little bit of our evaporated milk. Now you literally need a couple of tablespoons, that's it. 
There we go. And I will show you another day on what to do with the rest of this. So let's just bring that together. Now we've got this delicious sort of creamy tomato sausage ragu. Oh, it's going to be amazing, this. And I've seen a little bit of starch water. Let's have that. Lovely. Don't waste that. Lovely. And we're just going to let this cook down for two or three more minutes until the pasta's done and then put the pasta straight into this sauce and we're done. Now, pasta in to the sauce, really important, okay? Not the other way around. So just take your time, lift it in, because you're gonna get all those little bits of starchy water as well, you see, and they are like gold. They just bring everything together. They kind of make it creamy without adding cream. It's just delicious. Okay, so the pasta has been in the sauce now just for a couple of minutes. Not even that. Give it a nice stir together. Now, if you've got it in the garden or you've got it on the, on the kitchen shelf, some fresh herbs. I've got some Greek basil here, but just some parsley or some oregano or some basil just lifts it and makes it absolutely delicious. So, let me just sprinkle this on here. There we go. Love the smell of basil. Go. I'm gonna give that a little stir together. There you go, my gorgeous Milanese sausage, tomato, and pasta ragu, all made in 10 minutes and for less than a fiver. For this recipe, I used the Edge Keeper 20 centimeter chef's knife. I used the Masterclass cast aluminium, a five liter casserole dish, and the shallow four liter casserole dish.